Why would the Sims give me the option to cheat if they don't want me to cheat or let me get away with it? That's just how I feel. Welcome back, I'm Kelsey, and today we are playing more of the Not So Buried Challenge. Last week, we moved in to college. We met a lot of your guys' sims. This week, we're trying to finish this first part of college, and then hopefully we move out into our like nicer home in the next part. I realize that if we do move into university housing, we will have to still not be able to have flames. So I'm thinking maybe we might move into uh, off university into kind of this middle area of bright chest. I haven't been able to see your guys' response to last episode, so I'm still gonna wait to kind of decide who I should vibe with more until I see your guys' suggestions. But until then, I'm just gonna mess around and see what happens. That's pretty much what Fox does. He messes around and he sees what happens. Let's hop into the game. We're back! Also, I figured out the way to cheat your guys' sims into the university. So when I run into them, I will be adding them to university so that they're students as well. Ooh, it sounds loud in the door. Looks like some people are here. Ooh, but they have some pasta primavera. Honestly, wake up and grab a serving of that because we are hungry and we don't get free food a lot. So if someone made something, we're gonna steal some. People don't just leave food out and not expect me to eat it. That's just how I feel. Although I'm just, I keep wondering where they're making this food. Regardless, he's having his uh, pasta primavera. He's feeling pretty playful. Good for you, buddy. And then we'll go back to sleep. Is there a party I'm like not invited to? What the heck? Where is everyone? Well, I'm going to bed. What do we have tomorrow? Tomorrow, pretending for profit, which we have finished. Class starts in about an hour. We need to use the bathroom. Let's use the bathroom really fast and then we're gonna go to class early. Oh, nope, he's gotta go to class. We're running to class. We need to pee and shower. It doesn't matter, okay? We're going to class. Everything's fine. We're fine. Poor baby. Look at him waddling to class because he needs to pee. Hustling in. We made it to class, I think, just on time or maybe a little late. Nope, late. We were 30 minutes late to class. Well, we're going to actively listen or we're gonna take notes. Let's take notes, all right? We wanna have a good job in this class, mostly because I have a feeling that we're going to maybe get caught in pretending for profit but cheating homework. But honestly, I feel like cheating your homework for these classes should be rewarded. I don't understand why they punished me. I don't get it. Ooh, we're embarrassed. He turned our homework. What's it say? It was caught cheating. We got caught cheating twice. We were embarrassed. Caught cheating by the university is now feeling shame of having tried to pull one over on his professor only to be found out embarrassed. Apparently, we have to wake up pretty early in the morning to fool our professors. Let's go home, I guess. Oh, there's our, our roommate. See, where were you last night? Okay, where was everyone? Was there a party I wasn't invited to? But we need to shower off and then maybe do some homework. But I feel like we should get along with our roommate. I really like the idea of our roommate becoming like our second in command when we become the crime boss that we've always meant to be. He showered off. Now he's gonna go ask the roommate for some reassurance. Aw, they had a nice hug. Oh my God, you are so loud. So loud. I'm glad that we got some bonding time with Kumiko. Now we need to work on our classes because because honestly, they're probably all mad at us. Well, we're hanging out with all of our dorm mates. So that's kind of fun. We have class tomorrow for effective vibrary and we have class tomorrow for simple tricks and traps. We're actually gonna do the homework, I guess. At least it's giving us some skills. And our roommate's taking a nap. Looks like she might've been tired from being out all night at the party that she did not invite me to that I'm assuming happened. And now we're gonna do tricks and traps. Being such a good student. I mean, yeah, I did cheat on the first two, but the second two, I didn't cheat. So I'm being a good student. Or is our roommate talking to us? No, she left. Dang it. You could have stayed in the room and hung out with me, but apparently she wants to watch TV. Eh, I don't blame her. We got our homework for both of those classes done. It's time for food. So let's go travel to Pepper's Pub. We haven't been there yet. We could grab some food. We can drink. We can meet other Sims. You know, have a good time. We're here at Pepper's Pub. It's happy hour. Let's order some fish and chips. That actually looks so good. And it kind of fits the aesthetic of this college bar. Very pub-like. It's 5.30. I feel like that's a normal time on a Tuesday to be at a bar in college. You know, someone came in. Sia Data is going for an orange look, both in jacket and in makeup. Fun. Or yellow. I do not know my colors. Yeah, I don't think anyone from town is here. We finished our homework for two of our classes. I guess we could finish our homework for the third class. Just because. Looks kind of like uh, none of the Sims that uh, you guys made are showing up here, which is kind of a bummer. I was 
hoping to meet even more of your guys' sims today. Also, what a good boy. Fox went to the bar and just got food. He didn't even get a drink. Also, we can't that's bake. Me, that that's is. the other thing. Is oh, Catalina is asking me on a date. <gasps> so this is going to sound crazy. I know we're friends at all, but well, okay, here it goes. I have a crush on you. Okay, it's out there. Um, would you want to go out with me sometime? You're super cool. I want to hang out with you more. Catalina. Uh, yeah, let's go on a date. Oh, wow, really? That's so awesome. I'm so happy. I worked up the courage to ask. Let me know what works for you and we'll go out. Oh, wow. You know, no one's coming to the bar. Sometimes you go to the bar and there's not much going on. But at least he's happy. It looks like he really likes the music that's going on right here. Great tune. Oh, and he made a new friend. Who's this? Samaria. Oh, it's the mixologist. Okay. We definitely want to make uh, the mixologist into our friend so that they'll serve us, you know? Oh, a sentiment was granted immediately. Oh, these looks like sims that might go to our rival school here. Nathan Akiyama, Jared Yamazaki. It looks like they're both art society members. Ooh, maybe we could like mess with one of them. I don't know. Listen, I don't think Fox is the type to start stuff. I think Fox is the type to finish stuff. He's not like aggressive. He's not gonna like see someone walk in and go, hey, I want to fight you. But if you mess with him, he will take you down. Like he will show no mercy because he basks in dealing out what he sees as punishment. I think, I think. That's all I gotta say about that. Catalina's here. She's in the bathroom. Why don't we go try to cheer Catalina up once we finish our homework? Oh, oh, look at him. <laughs> he stopped what he's doing to stare at Catalina. He's like, oh my God, immediately obsessed with her as usual. Not even surprised that she walks into the room and he's already fully into her. Don't say goodbye yet, Catalina. It's still early. Why is she so sad? Sweet talker. Let's try to bring up her mood a bit. She's an artist personality type. Ooh, and she's a foodie. That's fun. Ooh, she's a little bit rejecting his advances here. She's probably not in the mood. Ooh, something must have gone on with her. Cause we, she just asked us on a date and I thought everything was going well, but then we tried to flirt with her and she's just really sad. She's too sad to flirt. Oh, we completed all our homework. Look at us. We're such a good student. Why don't we sit and chat over here together? Come on, Catalina. She's being so distant. What's, what happened? Catalina sat across from him, but he's still chilling. Oh wait, I can add her. Testing. All right, so I think if I do this, Hmm, what did we get here? A university acceptance letter. Oh wow, we just got it. Maybe I have to be playing as the Sim in order to add them to university. I thought I could just add anyone to university. Oh well, it's fine. Well, we did all our homework, so I guess it's time to go to bed. Oh, I love his cold weather outfit. I forgot about it. Bye Fox, have fun. The orange just suits him so well. We're back home. It looks like other students are here, so that's kind of nice. Make some funny faces to your roommate to mess around. Maybe just be funny. Do like a funny impression. Try to make her laugh. I want them to be besties. Aww. Kubiko seems to like us. I'm telling her a couple jokes and then we're gonna head to bed. Aww, we reached comedy level two. Good job us. Now he's going to bed. Look at us, perfect roomies. Ah, I love it. When we move out, Kubiko's coming with us as a roommate. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Oh, look at everyone in their beds. Since they're getting up, Catalina's calling. I have a crush on Emilio. Oh, are you trying to make me jealous? Is that why you're sad? Because you asked me out yesterday and now you have a crush on someone else. Whatever, go for it, I guess. Go with Emilio, I don't care. I hope you and Emilio are super happy together. I'm confident, you know what? It's fine, there's plenty of other people in the sea, Catalina. There's Annie. I got Annie, okay? I bet she's okay. We got Desiree, even though she hates me a little. Roman, Roman super into me. We have plenty of options, okay? Don't act like we don't have options. Off to class for ye. We turn in our confident homework. Let's grab our roommate and head to the food area at the Larry's Lagoon. Yeah, we're gonna go get some food, maybe talk. My work on some of my class projects. Prepping for my life of crime. We're grabbing some lunch here. Caprese salad, yum. We need to have some fun. Maybe we'll throw a party of some sort. Or go to a party. I just feel like there needs to be more parties. So let's play ping pong against Kumiko. Wait, we have class in an hour? Since when? I thought the other two classes were tomorrow. Whatever. Sorry, Kumiko. I can't have fun right now. I think after we gotta throw a party or something. Slate ages up today. Oh, we should have Slate's birthday. We might go home for the twins' birthday because I really want to age them up and like see if they're engaged. Maybe have some parties and stuff. He's doing homework? Oh my gosh, what a good sim. Doing homework while he's waiting for class. 
Yes. Wow, I am impressed. Theo's calling. Yes. What perfect timing. Dad's calling and he wants to chat with us probably because he wants us to come home for the twins' birthday. Ooh, he spread some juicy gossip about Slate. I'm certain it is about Slate's engagement. All right, let's travel. I'd say we could bring someone with us, but I feel like the only person we'd bring with us would be our roommate, Kumiko, and I kind of don't want to bring Kumiko. Let's just travel home by ourselves. Hello, mom and dad house. Plum house. Oh, knock on ah, there's my boy. There's Slate. Congratulate on engagement. Oh, and we get to see our, our pet too. We're here. We're home. Give mom like a hug. He's going to congratulate his brother on his engagement. Hopefully his brother isn't stressed about it. Why doesn't he like it? He's probably frustrated because he's like, mom and dad are being weird about it until I'm an adult or whatever, but it's fine. Let's cook him the nice cake for the twins. The twins are aging up. The twins are aging up. Look at the whole family. Oh my gosh, get out of my way, team. I'm trying to kick you a birthday cake because I'm such a good brother. Get out of my way. Look, it's dad, it's Theo, and Indy's here. Indy's like a teen. I can only imagine Indy going to high school. He'd be so popular. I just kind of wish that the high school pack for The Sims came out like as all of these kids were teens because it'll be so fun. But I will say it'll be fun having Fox's kids, like the twins, because he's supposed to have twins go to high school. That's gonna be a lot of fun having the twins go to high school. We're gonna age up Violet and Slate. We're gonna put that here. We're gonna add birthday candles. Oh, it would be fun to add a wedding topper. Just be like, psych, it's your wedding. Wait, we should invite over our bestie Reed. Invite Wendell to hang out too. Look at it, it's our baby. Oh my gosh, scratch favorite spot. Come here, baby. Everybody's here together. I'm not gonna lie, I miss this. Part of me wishes I had just stayed home. Why is Wendell so sad? Oh my God, did they break up and I just invited Wendell over? No, they're not broken up. They're vibing. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Come on, Slate. Come on, it's your birthday. I baked you a cake and now you're engaged. I can't wait. We must throw the wedding. I'm very excited about this wedding. Oh my gosh, no! Did he age up? He's a young adult now, but oh my gosh. Violet, you little brat. Violet had a slice of cake, so I have to make another cake, but Slate has aged up. Oh my gosh, yay. Wait, I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see these two. So cute, they're engaged. I'm gonna congratulate Reed on the engagement. Ah, I'm so happy. Oh, we gotta ask to be Reed's like person of honor. He's daydreaming about Catalina, of course he is, especially after she said that she wants to date someone else. Let's ask Reed to be the Sim of Honor at the wedding. Yeah, he's excited. Reed's excited about the wedding. We need to cook another cake for our sister now. Maybe our sister wanted a different cake and that's why she's like, I'm gonna take that one so we can't have that. We'll give her a matcha cake. Chosen to be Sim of Honor. I wish I would have seen the interaction. Honored wedding party. Ah! God, of course I'm Sim of Honor at my bestie's wedding. And my brother are getting married. This is the cutest. Like, of course Reed's part of the family. I feel like Wendell needs to age up alongside Violet. They're too cute together. Oh yay, we're cooking level four. Good job us. Can we not buy? What did you just do? All right, whatever. I can age up Violet anyway. <laughs> Happy birthday, Violet. There she is. Violet's now young adult and I cannot age up Wendell. 14 of 13. He's supposed to be a young adult yesterday. I guess he'll naturally age up tomorrow. Well, Wendell's heading out and we ate a slice of this, so we can't age him up. That's fine. Let's go take a shower in our old shower. So chaotic, but the twins are aged up, so that's good. Both of them are young adults. I kind of want to play as the family. I'm going to restrain myself though. Is he doing his homework? He's doing his homework again. All right, I guess I'll let you do your homework at home. I guess you could also sleep over if you really wanted to just chill at home for tonight. You can hang with Flame. That's kind of nice. He's hanging with his siblings. I feel like he must have missed them. Did we complete it? Oh my gosh, we completed that homework too. And then he went to bed in his bedroom. That is so sweet. Oh, he must really miss living at home in his room. With all stuff, including his fish, Captain Fishbones. Oh, it's Harvest Fest today. But we have class in like 20 minutes. Oh God, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. Gotta go to class. Oh my God, we're gonna miss class. Bye everyone, bye. Oh, we're at university class. We just made it on time. Like barely made it on time to class. Oof. That was a rough one. We've got two days left of term. I think we'll finish our first term in this episode. I like it. School's going by pretty quick, so that's nice. We're gonna go use the restroom real quick. Maybe do more of our homework and class presentations and everything. Ooh, Catalina's calling? Amelia LeBlanc is such a sweetheart, I'm in love. Good for you. 
Catalina, whatever. I don't care. I don't know why you called me because I don't care. Have fun with Emilio. I'm Emilio. I'm a whatever. Whatever. Oh, cute. Slate's calling us to ask if they should know Kenshi Miyamoto a better as a friend. Yeah, make more friends, okay? Proud of you, buddy. We're gonna grab some uh, tofurkey because it's Harvest Fest. And he loves the holiday gnomes and the grand meal and he's not getting it because he went home yesterday. I mean, we could go home again today to have Harvest Fest, but we just went home. So I think this is what we're getting today. Flirty. Call me Cupid from hooking up other Sims. Oh, he actually liked the fact that he set up Catalina and her new crush. All right, good for you. What a sweetheart, Fox. I would disagree that that would be a good thing, but Fox does not mind. Fox is like, you know what? I'm happy for them. Oh, look, that counted as the grand meal. That's so nice. We're dazed. Why are we dazed? For a food coma from eating a grand meal. That is so cute. Oh, wait, that's one of your sims. Hold up. Wait a minute. That's Taryn. Let's do a polite introduction to Taryn. Hello, Taryn. 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 Not so fast. I know you're quiet. And I want to see if he's bowled over and in love with Taryn too. Be thankful. Like chat about Harvest Fest. I want to see what he thinks of Taryn. Extremely attractive. Another one. Another one. Another sim he finds extremely attractive. That is so funny. I am honestly deceased that he also likes Taryn, but I'm so not surprised. He finds everyone attractive. Like, does he find Kubiko attractive? He finds her attractive, not extremely attractive. He's like, hey, she's a good looking girl. She's a good looking girl. Maybe asked to hang out, be like, why don't you study with us? She's talking about bugs. I uh, maybe she's uh, into bugs. I don't know why, but maybe she is. Let's sit together over here. Where are you going? Who is outside? I just saw someone run. Catalina. Oh my gosh, Catalina. Catalina's over here trying to win my heart. I'm like, Catalina, stop. I don't want to talk to you right now. Taryn left. She was like, yeah, yeah, I'll hang out. And then left. Classic introvert. Oh, we'll break you, Taryn. Not in a bad way. We'll, we'll, we'll break through that exterior shell. We finished our homework for that. We still need to do this presentation for pretending for profit. And we only have like a couple days left of school. So we're gonna work on the presentation more. Hopefully make it so much better. Look at that. That looks great. Susan Oda. I've called to inform you that your great great second once removed cousin friend's grandpa's passed away and some reason left you a vast fortune. I feel like, you know, after all of these classes, he might be like, what under what conditions? I don't trust just random callers anymore. I got street smarts. Street smarts. Ooh, very clever. Oh, we got 2,500 simoleons because we asked about the conditions. We're so smart. Who's this? Colin. It's my enemy. Colin Munch is at school now. As long as you stay out of my way, Colin. Stay out of my way. Whitney, do you want to go on a date? No, thank you. Stop inviting me out. I've got other people here. I heard you became friends with Taryn. Yes, Whitney, I do have new friends. I literally just told you that. I'm showing off my presentation to Kumiko. I wonder what she's saying. She's like, I really like the pirate in it, but I do think it could be a little more organized. He's already asking for her opinions as his second hand, second in command. Quality normal. I wonder if we just keep working at it, if it'll get to quality excellent. Oh, quality excellent. Look at us. Okay, let's practice presenting. This looks even better. Fox's term presentation looks great. He continued fiddling with it, but at this point, further refinement will only serve to better his understanding of the course without making the presentation any better. So he's practicing presenting <gasps> and everyone's come around to listen to him. This is so cute. I wonder what skill he's learning by doing this. Charisma, heck yeah. He is very charismatic, so I feel like he'd give a really good presentation. No wonder he's gathered a crowd around his presentation. He's just so talented. Kubiko's come up to talk to Lola. Kubiko's not as interested in the present. She's like, I already got the spiel. I don't need to listen again. Ooh, we're losing a couple people on our presentation. It's okay, it's okay. Woo, level eight of charisma skill. Good job, buddy. Give final presentation. Submitted on weekdays between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Ooh, okay. So we can actually just be done with it now. All right, our presentation is bomb. We're crushing it. We're gonna nail this. In such a short amount of time, we'll be the best villain. Chilling, chilling like a villain. That's what Fox is. And yes, that was a little cringe. We back, baby. Let's go take a nice, well-deserved sleep after a successful day. He's feeling super confident, feeling close to someone nearby. He got some really good feedback from his roommate. He likes how the dorms are decorated. Oh, looks like some of the roommates are around. Not everybody though. And I think he had a pretty good heart 
Harvest Fest. Yes, the Harvest Fest successful. Let's go to the bathroom. We have two classes today. Oh, we're hungry again. Are you kidding me? We are always hungry and I never have food in the dorms. I'm gonna be so excited to move out of the dorms. I tell you that right now. I guess he's gonna go watch TV. Yeah, I mean, we don't have a lot of time to go eat, I guess. So class in four hours. Oh, we have four hours. Okay, we have a little bit of time. Wasn't there like a food doll thing or is that just like for the event? I guess that must've just been for the event. No, there's one right here. It's open. Okay, let's grab some food. I guess it's just like sweets, but we do love sweets. We have a sweet tooth. So let's go for a cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll for my little cinnamon roll. He was doing homework. I kid you not. He was doing homework on his own. This kid, I swear. Yay, we got our cinnamon roll from our little place. I wish we could just like sit on a bench. We can sit on a bench. Go sit on a bench with your cinnamon roll. Yeah, he's running with his little cinnamon roll. He's gonna go sit on the bench. Nice. What a lovely morning of college. That's perfect. What should we do? He's sitting here chilling. He's gonna do some homework, I suppose. We have class in two hours, so I guess it makes sense that we're doing homework for our other class. This is the most he's ever done homework ever. So he's dedicated. He's ready to be the greatest villain the world has ever seen. Oh, he's feeling nauseous. Oh, from anticipation for the final exam. Oh, it's a final exam day? Cram for the exam. Oh no, I forgot that we were supposed to like study today. Well, good luck on your final exam. I didn't study. I'm sorry. I forgot that that was part of it. Here we go. We're going off to class. Is this our final? Cheat on exam. <gasps> I wish we would cheat on exam. Maybe we'll try it later, but I don't want to risk it. We like worked so hard all of semester. I really want to cheat on the exam though, but he doesn't need to. How do we do? Turn in his homework. Okay, hopefully our final grade is good. Let's go give our final presentation. We've already taken the final exam for effective bribery. That was probably a hard one. I love that Kumiko's out here just eating what looks like the stinkiest lobster thermidor I've ever seen. Look at that. It's got a trail stinking off of it. And she said hi to, oh my gosh, my crush. Well, okay, we see her everywhere lately. Slate's calling. Oh, I'm glad that Slate and Kenshi had a blast together. Of course, I'm in the middle of class, so you know, but I still answered the phone. Final presentation, done. So we've done two of them. We just have final exam for simple tricks and traps. It's like we're going back to our dorm. Hopefully there, someone has food there. Oh, we're super nervous for the final exam. Looks like no one has any food. Our class starts starts in 30 minutes. Go to class, I guess. I was gonna try to get him something to eat, but I don't think he's hungry right now. I think he's a little nervous. First final exam. Oh, my sister's here. I'm sorry, I've got class right now, but I will be here to invite you in once I'm done with class, okay? Sorry, sis. How'd it go? Ooh, look, we're done. We're done with the first semester. Look at us. Where's Violet? Oh, she left. Oh, man. Ooh, look, this looks like fun. What is this? There's a keg. I wish there was food because I would come if there was food, but there is no food anywhere. I think to the bar, let's get a drink, celebrate ourselves, see if we run into anyone again. I'm gonna say a meat and cheese platter. And then we're gonna order like a beer or something, you know? Grab a serving. Wait, there's servings of the meat and cheese platter? I didn't realize that it was like multiple servings and you could just share it. This is my meat and cheese platter. Nobody else gets this meat and cheese platter. It's, it's just for me. We're gonna order our favorite drink. I wanna know what his favorite drink is. Oh, white wine? Okay. <gasps> oh, dang. Okay, we got final grades. A plus in simple tricks and traps. A plus in pretending a profit. And A plus in effective bribery. Ugh, yes. Now we only have five more classes to take because we are doing eight. Would you like to sign up for another term? Yeah. I would. So we take three classes again. So we're currently in this tower, but I am thinking let's move off campus. Play with household funds. Woo, spooky, but it's fine. We have the money. We have new classes, but we don't start class until like Monday, but I don't know where we live yet. I said I was moving off campus, but now I am still here drinking my wine, celebrating alone. Oh, you know what? Let's just go make out with her. We're celebrating, okay? Let's go give her a little bold pickup line. She's here, I'm here. We're feeling good. We don't care that she had a great date with someone else. We don't care. We're gonna give her a hug. We're gonna give her a nice little pickup line and see what happens. She liked it. Of course she did. And Violet wants us to go out. Violet!
Yeah, it's fine. I'll bring some friends along. So I'm gonna bring Catalina. You know, we're here. We're all here together in our cozy wear. Let's give our sister a big old hug. And then we're gonna bring up a embarrassing childhood moment because that just sounds like him. Violet, it's so good to see you. Thanks for inviting me. Remember that time? That something very embarrassing. Oh, you peed yourself? That was hilarious. And then we'll share some photos with Catalina. We'll be like, these are some embarrassing photos of Violet. <laughs> and here's the Spice Festival. Excellent. Well, let's keep drinking, you know? Let's get grab a round. Let's order drinks for the group. Granite Falls Grappo Blanco. It's his favorite. We'll keep ordering some drinks. Drinks on me, girls. And we're gonna pick up our nice little wines because we're all of age. We're all young adults now, so we can do that. He grabbed his wine and he's got to run to the bathroom. Oh my gosh, remember guys? Our Rose generation got married here or was supposed to get married here and then did it in the courthouse. I always love coming back to this build. I think this is such a nice build. Ooh, some spicy food challenge. Oh yeah. I think Fox would definitely attempt a spicy curry challenge. Look, Violet and Catalina came with me over here. Let's all go together to attempt the spicy challenge. I think it will be endless entertaining for me and very painful for my sims, which is great. Here we go. It's his first time eating spicy foods, I think. So, it, you know, it might not go well. Let's see how Catalina does. Oh, she does not look like she likes it. How about Violet? Oh, rough on Violet. All right, how about, oh my God, and Fox loves it. Of course he does. Oh, it's spicy, but he likes it. So he failed the spicy curry challenge. No, looks like most of them did, to be honest. Let's order a chicken burrito. We're just gonna keep eating food at the spice festival. Sounds fun. And then what other fun activities could we do to bring his fun up? Well, let's all dance together. He ate his burrito, which was the goal of the evening. That's why his sister invited him out. She's like, I know you like burritos. And now he's having a bit of a dance, getting his skill up. I remember when he used to dance a lot at home with his mom. <gasps> he likes dancing, it's in my bones. Of course it's in your bones. It's from your family. Can they do a nice little dance together? Invite them to dance. Please dance with me. Please go slow dance with Catalina. I wanna see that happen. Ooh, look at him walk over there. Oh, he took her in his arms and they're slow dancing. Oh, this is magic. Look at that. He's got little hearts in his eyes, but he has the hots for everyone, so. Don't get too attached to Catalina, okay? It just It's just because she's around the most. Oh, and he's a little tired and he's gonna take a nap on a bench. Good for you, buddy. You do what you need to do. Ooh, it's 11.30. All right, he's gonna go home. We're gonna find out where his home is now because I think we're supposed to move off campus, but... I don't know, maybe they'll kick us out in a couple days when we start the new term. I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work. <laughs> Pack it up and moving out. It is time to move out. Okay, so let's put this in our inventory. And that, that's our one thing. So we're moving out. Oh no, this is so weird. We've only been here for like two episodes. Oh, and he fell asleep. He's sleeping through his packing up phase. That's fine. Kumiko, you gotta be our roommate when we move out, okay? Now time for Fox to move on and move out. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. So we have Barry and I'm going to go to Delso Valley and I'm going to move in my beloved Flame Barry into my household. I accidentally have a ton of money. That's only so I can like move into this house. Okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna go away. Like technically on campus, you're not allowed to have a pet. I changed this residence to just be a normal residence and not like a campus housing. So we're just gonna move into that and pretend it's still campus housing. And then he like, snuck flame in, but that's not actually the case. So there you have it. We're gonna take flame and Fox and move them in to this. And then yeah, we'll only have that much money left, which I think is actually like 500 simoleons less than we already had. So, which which is fine. It's fine. So there we have it in our new orange themed house that we renovated and decorated it on stream, on my Twitch stream. If you wanna see that, go check it out. It's also on the gallery. So the goal of this house was to look very much like an orange college kind of crash pad. We have room for one, two, three other Sims. And then we have of course our room with flame i'm so excited to live with flame again and this is something we stole from the other school we just have like a bunch of like holes in all the walls because we don't take care of the place just kind of looking a little trash out here that's kind of the goal but we just moved in and we need some roommates yeah there's a computer here put advertisement for roommates and then we're gonna invite over some sims and i'm gonna make them my roommates and we're gonna invite kumiko to join our as a roommate and then i wonder who else should be our roommate oh it'd be so cute if reed and slate could be our Roommates. Actually, it'd be cute if all of our siblings could be roommates. I would love that. Oh, yay, Flame is back! Flame! 
gonna play with flame. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that we're all moved in and feeling good with flame. But this is the room, isn't it cute? And I think we can like woohoo in there, which will be fun when we have uh, people over, you know. It is time to sleep, so why don't we just go to bed? I wanna see what these pillows look like when he gets into bed. Yeah, he just kind of sinks into them. That's, that's fine, honestly, don't care that much. I think they're kind of fun, so I'm keeping those. Also, I'm pretty sure we have some lot challenges on here. Yeah, we have Creepy Crawlies, Curse, Filthy, and Grody. So it's not technically the Needs TLC apartment, but it will be in the future. We have to have a house party tonight, Saturday night. Perfect, we're gonna have a house party. We're gonna have a rager to celebrate our new digs. It's gonna be awesome. And we also have a grave, which I think is kind of fun. Maybe there's just like a random grave. I feel like Fox would love that. He would love having a grave on, the, on site here. It's 10 a.m. Let's invite over Kumiko so we can ask her to be our roommate. Oh, Rory's here. I don't know why Rory is here, who is the werewolf, but honestly, if Rory wants to be my roommate, I'm not gonna say no. I feel like Rory and Fox would get along really well. Ooh, Alex Moyer. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Not for me, not for me. What? What do you mean packing up? Flame is not allowed to move out of here. What do you mean? This is not what is happening here. Flame's not allowed to live with me? Are you kidding me? I don't know what to do here. Do I just move out with Flame? What just happened? So it looks like it's changed it somehow to university housing again. So I'm going to just move Flame back in with my family, unfortunately, and we'll grab Flame after. I'm so mad. But I could move Slate and Violet in. No, I'm just gonna keep it as is. So it's fine. This is our university housing now. We'll move into Needs TLC apartment next. And that's uh, gonna be the way it is. So we're here at the house. Give Reed some residence keys so Reed can be over whenever they want. Maybe also give residence keys to Kumiko. There's like a lot of random strangers here that we don't know. But I like that we're having fun. I think it's time to throw a party at this house. So we're going to plan a social event. We're gonna throw a party in this house to celebrate. And we're gonna invite all my romantic interests. Yeah, I think it should just be a house party. I don't really want a cake. And it's gonna be at my house. Wait, can I not throw a party here? Can I throw the cake party here? I can throw it at Barry Residence. Okay, sick. All right, so we're throwing a cake party after all. So we need to finish an entire juice. Oh, flip. I don't have a keg and our goal is to finish an entire keg. So we're probably gonna fail. Here's Annie. Annie's here. Give some residence keys to Violet. Your roommate has been filled all the roommate slots. Who are my roommates? Well, we're here. Oh, we're in our party look. I haven't seen this look on him in a minute. That is great. Okay, this is gonna be a fail of a party, but it's fine. Who brought lobster thermidor? Um, I'm gonna grab a serving. Curious who my roommates are. Ooh, Wendell and Peter Schmay is here. Look, it's you two. Is Wendell a young adult? Yes, Wendell's a young adult. Can we like try to convince him to ask his sister to marry him? Wendell, Wendell, when are you gonna marry my sister? Hey, okay, wait, here we go. Here's Kumiko. Brag about grades. Oh yeah, we should definitely brag about grades. The party's going well. I think everyone's hanging. Everyone's having a good time. We're chilling. Wendell has a weird looking outfit. I think it's very cool. Oh my God, Desiree came. Repeat, Desiree showed up. Has the stankiest face. She looks so over being here and that only makes me want to hang out with her more. Thank her for coming. Okay, we're gonna drop everybody else. Sorry, everyone. We're gonna go thank Desiree for coming. Be like, hey, you showed. Kinda didn't think you would. She seems mad. Maybe we'll have like a little smooth apology. Like, hey, Desiree. No need to be mad or tense. We're gonna make you our biggest fan yet. Her aesthetic is just so perfect too for him. She's warming to him. She's warming to him. Compliment her a little appearance. Tell her how pretty she is. Oh wait, we're sitting right next to a girl that we like and we are in front of another girl that we like. So maybe we won't compliment her appearance. Ooh, she says the sin, Desiree is the sinister personality type. Sinister sims sin are always up to no good. Ooh, that seems like a pretty compatible thing for him. Ask about favorite author. You know, just ask her, ask her stuff. And she's also sage, so she's very wise. And she's a kleptomaniac. I love that for her. Give her like a compliment. I love that everyone's out here. Taryn is out here chatting with us. Slade and Reed are together sitting on the couch. Desiree is kind of warming to us, slowly but surely. These three are in the room alone, all chilling. Catalina, Carolyn, and the robot Hera are all chilling in this bedroom by themselves. Wendell's pretty flirty. I wonder if Wendell is vibing Violet as usual. Tell unbelievable story. Oh my gosh, and here's Roman. We've got to hook up with someone in this closet up here. Make out with, who could we make? Oh, just Catalina. Hmm. If 
It's like Catalina's our only option. We could try for a baby with Catalina. <gasps> if we got Catalina pregnant. Oh, that'd be so bad. We gotta schmooze someone. Maybe we'll pull like kind of Roman to our room. Be like, Roman, let's go somewhere a little quieter. Roman's looking good tonight wearing orange. You know, that's a power color. Let's get it a little, a little quiet, you know? It's, it's a little louder, everybody else is. Ask about day and then we're gonna go right in for some flirting. See how Roman responds. We are gonna flirt until we can make out with him in the closet. Oh, he rejected us? Is he not into guys? Smooth recovery. Oh my gosh, someone's coming in here. Well, we don't care about her. We can flirt in front of her, it's fine. Okay, no, he likes that flirting. Roman's also pretty sage. Oh, look, she cleaned up the house for us. That's a nice sim right there. Why are we being sassy to him? Don't nag him. Let's do a nice little sweet talk, okay? Compliment his appearance. Be like, you're looking good tonight, all right? Bold pickup line. Ooh, some people look like they got in the hot tub. There's a hot tub on the side of the house. Everyone's walking in and out of my room. I'm like, dude, I'm trying to put some moves on Roman here, okay? He's feeling very flirty. Oh man, Reed's like playing with my guitar. Listen, I know it's a cool guitar. I, I got it for myself. I don't even know how to play it, but it's just, it's a very cool guitar. So we had to get it. Oh no, it's Desiree. Desiree, don't see me hook up with this guy. All right, we're gonna have our first kiss. Everyone's leaving, thank goodness. We're having our first kiss with Roman at the party. Yes, Roman. Maybe invite him to stay the night. Oh my. Oh, we can woohoo in the closet. Okay, let's definitely make out with Roman in the closet because I just really wanted Roman to stay over and hook up with him after the party. Yes. See, this is why all those times ago, that Valentine's Day, that sucked. Fox is finally having his day with a blonde man. Oh, okay. Love that. Love this for them. I'm trying to figure out who the roommates are. I'm assuming these might be the other roommates. Boo. I might have to kick some of these roommates out. I don't like them. We're gonna take a shower. And I think he had a pretty successful first party at the house, you know? We're vibing Desiree. Desiree's erratic and a kleptomaniac. Could be kind of a fun sim. Maybe even a good, like, mother of our kids. So, like, maybe we hook up with Desiree. But, like, Desiree might not be, like, long-term material. I think Roman, Annie, Taryn, Catalina, all could be maybe, like, wife slash husband material. But Desiree, I think they just might have like fun chemistry and banter. I don't know. Let me know in the comments of this video. Oh my gosh, he's gonna go work on his homework. I guess you're allowed. It is weird that you just decided that you're gonna go do homework after your party. But I'm gonna leave him right here. Uh, we're in the new house with some new roommates, which I wish I could pick my roommates, but it's fine. Let me know in the comments which of the Sims you're feeling once again, and I will start to kind of maybe seeing if some of that might happen in the next episode, but it looks like we might finish college either next episode or the episode after that. So I'm very excited about that. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye! You know, we just didn't see as much Annie in this episode and I'm just wondering if she's okay.